everyone. Tim Kelly back with another video. Man, in this one, I just want to give you guys a good positive message. Um, but really, man, a lot of people are going through so much. And it's like so much hate out there. And, you know, I sat there and I was like, why is there so much hate? Even myself, I get a lot of hate sometimes. But, you know, haters are hate. They gonna hate. But guess what? Who taught you to hate yourself? Really, sit down and think. Who taught you to hate yourself? Fuck that. Stop hating yourself. Love yourself for who you are. Do you even know what that feels like? <laughs> Love yourself for who you are. You know? In this life, you, you're going to have people that want you to hate yourself. They hate you. Because they hate their own goddamn selves. Shit. That, that's, just, that's just the bottom line. They hate their own selves. So they try to get everybody else to do the same hating. Yeah. So they ain't got to feel like they're the only ones hating. But guess what? Love yourself and you start to spread this love everywhere. Oh, I love my hair. Look at that. Love yourself for who you are, for how God made you. See, my hair is natural as fuck. I don't do nothing to it. Just wash it and leave it. And God takes care of the rest. The higher power takes care of the rest. Bruce Lee said it, said it best. I just put it out there and the universe takes care of the rest. It's, it's real. Yeah? So know that the people that want you to hate yourself... <laughs> They hate their own goddamn selves. They can't find nothing within their own lives, within their own bodies, within their own thoughts, within their own emotions to love. But that's why, I, that's why I'm here telling you today is to love yourself. Find something in you to love yourself for. You know? See, the thing is, is you got to love yourself hard. It's not just, oh, well, yeah, I love myself. Uh, that's not going to get you anywhere. Because somebody's going to come back around and say, oh, yeah, look at that. Ha, ha, ha. You know what? Ha, ha, ha. I love myself. Yeah? you got to love yourself hard. you got to love yourself so fucking hard that any hate that comes towards you just fucking flies back to the person like it didn't do shit to you. That's the power you have. <laughs> Believe it or not, you have... A high, you were created by a fucking higher power, higher than anybody on this planet, higher than who you are. You were created by this essence. <laughs> it's, it's so great. It's so great once you realize this. You were created by this higher power, and that higher power loved you. Yeah? That higher power loved you enough. The higher power loved you enough to create you to co-create you based on your choice before you were born a living entity that higher power with you as a as light an essence of its light asked you the question do you love yourself yeah i love myself okay i'm going to create you a physical being i'm going to create you a replica of the highest creation or the highest manifestation of myself that can appear in this world that's what God did. You see, God put a higher plan in your heart, bro. Sis. Cousin. <laughs> I'm speaking to you personally from my heart. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter who hates you. Stop hating yourself. And I'm going to tell you why. God put a higher plan, the, the higher power, whether you call it God or you call it the higher self or you call it light, you call it what, whatever you want to call it, essence, being, the higher essence of being, whatever you want to call it, this, this higher power put a higher plan, yeah, get me, this higher power put a higher plan within your heart, and you got to tap into that shit, you got to tap into that. By loving yourself, that's the only way you're going to tap into it. you got to love yourself for who you are right now, this second, this moment in your life. No matter what you're going through. 
you got to tap into the love that God put in your heart, the higher love plan that God put into you to make you a living being. <laughs> you got to become naked again in front of God. Yeah, you got to become naked again in front of the Most High. You got to strip yourself from all what you thought you are, from all what everybody tells you you are, and from everything you think you are. You got to strip yourself away. You got to strip yourself and become naked again. You got to become naked and afraid in front of God, in front of the power of the Most High. And it, and it isn't until you do this, you got to let go of all that extra shit is what I'm trying to tell you. You got to let go of all the hate. You got to get let go of all the hate that you feel for yourself. And more importantly, more importantly, should I say, let go of the hate that you feel for other people. Jealousy, greed, all these things. You got to come back to compassion. Being compassionate means finding this higher plan within your heart and seeing that within others in this limited life. We're only here in this physical body for a certain amount of time until we go back into the higher essence, a higher light, a higher life form than what we are right now. We're only here for a certain amount of time to express this higher plan. You got to become naked again in front of God. You got to become naked again. You got to strip yourself from all the bullshit. You got to strip yourself from everything everyone's taught you and become nothingness in front of God. And then you will realize that you're more than nothing. Because you are created by this God. You're created by this higher essence. See, God believes in you. <laughs> Regardless if you believe in yourself, you have to realize that God believes in you. Fuck all that. Fuck all the extra shit. God believes in you. This higher power, this higher source that brought you into existence when you agreed that you wanted to be an existing form of it, believed in you. So you have to realize this, that this power higher than anybody on this fucking planet believes in you. You have to realize that you're a single molecule of God. That, like, for example, if God is an ocean, the ocean of the universe, the ocean of the cosmos, you are just a drop with this essence in it of this higher power, this higher source, this higher ocean. <laughs> so, this is what I'm saying. From a soul level, God created you. From a soul level, this higher power than anybody on this planet believes in you on a soul level. And that shit is powerful when you're able to realize what I'm telling you. I have to realize it every single day and I'm, I'm so happy and grateful that I realize this shit. Because it gets me further and further each and every day. It gets me out of the negative mindsets that I, that I have sometimes. Sometimes I do go into shit like, damn, this, uh, you know, you go through life and some things just come out of nowhere and come out of every which way to try to keep you down. It seems like when you just step up and try to go one way, boom, you're knocked back down. Fuck that. You have to realize and let go of all the shit. Let it go. Just let it be. Be yourself with God. Become naked again. Let it go. <laughs> and like I said, from a soul level, this is, this is powerful. You are a ray of light, a child, a son of daughter of a living higher power, of a living God. <laughs> and I just want you to walk in that shit. And I know this video is longer than I want it to be nine minutes going on ten minutes but who taught you to hate yourself fuck that stop hating yourself god put some put a higher plan in your heart you know what i'm saying and it's up to you to step into this higher plan by loving yourself hard loving yourself harder than you can ever love love yourself not love this not love that not love them not love him not love her not love it no love you I love myself. Say it over and over. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I'm so happy and grateful God created me a living being of himself. And I'm in love with it. This is, this is what you got. You got to do that work. 
That's the work. I love myself. I love myself. Go beyond the hate. Because people are going to hate you for being in love with yourself. Damn it. People hate everything. And those people, like I said, they were taught hate. And I'm not even going to go into the devil because we know that when we get into the power of the Most High, can't nothing... To see, the power of the Most High is, is light that shines brighter than any other light that you can ever imagine. And when you step into that shit, you step into the power of the Most High within you. God is within you. God is not some external source. God created you with, in, with His intention, with its intention. The higher power created you with its intention. That means it's in you. Love yourself because that, that's the truth. <laughs> so to close out this video, I love you. If nobody told you that today, I love you. From, from my heart to your heart. Man, become naked again in front of God. Become naked again in front of, in front of that higher source. And love hard. Love yourself hard. That's all you got to do. Love yourself hard. And watch, watch how all the hate, all the ne negativity just starts to zoom, no more. And all there, all there is, is God. That's all there will ever be once you start to love yourself. Once you start to love yourself as a creation, a manifestation of this higher source, of this higher power. Alright, I'll see you guys in another video. I'm going to go ahead and take care of some business. Um, like I said, I'm writing books, I'm doing shit, I'm teaching people, I'm traveling, I'm doing everything, I'm making money, I'm doing all my shit, I'm on my higher power and can't nothing stop me because I'm one with God. See, and, that, and that's the mindset that you'll start to create once you step into your higher power. You are one with God. I am one with God and that's all that there will ever be.